Good morning, everyone. Uh, I don't know if you can see or not. My headlamp's kind of dying, but we got us a nice coon here. Uh, fourth coon at this spot. So four, four out of four. You can't complain about that one bit. Nice coon running over a tube. Get him taken care of and get down the road. All right. Finally light enough outside to film some stuff. Uh, my headlamp's going dead, so uh, couldn't film much with the headlamp. Got us a huge possum sitting here. Then we got us a nice big coon down here. This is that rocky bridge again, so still picking them up here. It's a good spot. Uh, and the beavers are gradually working on that little dam they're throwing together. So we'll get these suckers taken care of and get down the road. All right. Heading down another one here. Uh, we got one coon on the other side on the high bank trail, I can see. We got one sitting there. And then... <laughs> We got live Mr. Flattail sitting there too, so we're gonna have to get him taken care of. Uh, nice two coon, one beaver triple here. Uh, I'm gonna call that a triple, so glad to have him. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that beaver dam up there or not, but there's another one down here too, so good spot. That's the second beaver out of here. Alrighty, we got our beaver dispatched here. Here's the caster mount I caught him in. It looks like it's a really big beaver. I think that's why he was still kicking. Yeah, he's pretty big. So, still death kicking a little bit, but that's all right. We'll just hang out here till he, till he calms down. I mean, he wasn't going anywhere. The old 85 got him across the whole back foot there, so. We'll get him pulled up here in a second. You guys just see him? This rod ran back out there. It's really rocky in here, so. Of course, it probably seems like to you guys, everywhere I'm trapping is rocky. You take notice of the rocky ones, because they're never, never much fun, no matter what you're doing. So they still catch, though. If you can find a place to get your trap in, so. We're still on that stick. We're just gonna <clears throat> rebed that trap. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> yeah, that's a big boy. So uh, we'll get our coon out of here. I uh, got him dispatched ready. Get that DP remade, and we get down the road. Big old beaver. Well, I'm about to name this spot double or nothing here. <laughs> It got two the first check, zero the second check, two yesterday, and we got two today. One of them's pretty good size too. That back one's pretty good size coon. So there's timber. I've showed you guys this one several times. Timber, concrete, tube going to a, a cut cornfield. So nice double. This location going to disc corn is just blowing my mind. This is a really beautiful coon too, big one. It's had a coon every day going to that disc corn. Normally I do not have a whole lot of luck going to disc corn. Very, very interesting. So nice big coon. We'll get them taken care of and get down the road. Uh, I believe this is the seventh stop in a row. We've caught at least one, so we're on a roll. We're at eight stops in a row now with at least one coon. Uh, if I can get down here, it's actually a good one. A little dirty, but I don't know what it is about this little, little creek in here. There's hardly any trees around it. But the last bridge and this bridge are about, I don't know, 100 yards apart. And between the two, I've taken probably 11 coon now. So, and then there's another little bridge, another couple hundred yards with hardly any trees around it. I think I've caught four underneath of. So, a lot of coon living somewhere around here because they're piling up out of this area. So, good area. We'll get them taken care of and get down the road. Uh-oh. I got robbed. DP sitting here. Looking a little empty. Had a coon there yesterday though. And this makes nine stops in a row. We've had at least one coon. Coming down here. He's a little dirty, but I don't mind if they get dirty like that if I have water like this to clean them off right next to it. Uh, it really doesn't bother me. Plus I can rinse the dog proof off in the water right there too to avoid that mud from caking up and freezing. So I'm glad to have this nice muddy coon. Looks like we're only going to have that one beaver today. And down here at this beaver dam, we got us a nice big coon. 
again this is that one where there's a couple of them dead coon laying down here that looks like they were distempered so glad to be picking up some coon down here now a lot of you guys asked what that was and it looks like a filing cabinet i'm pretty sure that's what it is anyways old filing cabinet that ended up in a beaver dam so pretty sad how much junk people throw in the ditches and creeks and stuff but another nice coon here get them taken care of and get down the road man this spot with these high bank trails just keeps on bringing them that's a beautiful boar too oh, i see we got for sure a possum on the other side i'm not sure if there's anything else over there so i'll have to go take a look but that's a beautiful coon great color on him too so happy about that get them taken care of and We'll see what we got on the other side. Hopefully something other than just that possum. Well, well, well. What do we got going on down here? One, two, three. Three out of four at this spot. And those traps are an absolute mess. I'm gonna have to take some time and clean them suckers up. But Nice coon too, they're all big coons. They're just a little dirty, but we'll wash them off here before we take them up to the truck. So nice triple sorry guys i misspoke it's a quad can't forget old mr possum oh that's a fat dude sitting under there hiding under underneath that little tube ledge there uh the one right along that water's edge there hasn't caught one yet but this over the top trail has been catching them pretty good so no nice coon well 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 Looks like the old pocket set snagged one here. I see a tuft of fur over there. Is it a muskrat or a mink? It's a mink! Mink number 10. That's what I wanted right there. Awesome. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah. Mink number 10. Awesome. I'm going to dispatch this coon here and then we'll pull this mink out of here. Let's see what we got. My fish, my fish is still in there. That's good. Uh, looks like he just tangled himself up in this grass here. That's a nice big buck mink too. Nice big mink. Perfect catch with the old no BS. Got almost his whole daggum arm in there. Wow. Got a little white patch on his neck. Oh man. I put out these pockets and stuff just because I wanted to catch 10 mink this year and I ended up with nine after the water line. So I'm like, you know what? We got to try. I'm on, I'm on a system. I've caught mink before. And there we go. So that hand's cold, but we'll grab this coon and get out of here, guys. Uh, mink number 10. Got us a fuzzball here. Uh, going up to some barns and buildings up here coming from a timber so there's actually a a perpendicular fence uh, about 20 yards from here too that they're probably using to run over to that barn so good spot another nice coon still stoked on mink number 10 guys uh, that was one of my goals for this year was i wanted 10 mink uh and that's one goal down so you guys know the other one and we're we're working our way there so we'll be getting down the road Heading down the old bridge here, the DPs are empty. But this fish stick right here has a coon sitting there for us. Come over here along the old concrete wall I showed you guys. We got us a big coon over here, so we'll get him taken care of and get down the road. All right, we're gonna redo this one a little bit. Uh, the pocket sets. Uh, well, got at least one coon today. And these DPs I got down here haven't been producing anything, so I'm going to replace that cat food with some fishy smear bait. See if they react to it a little differently, but I got us a floater coon here, so if I can get my grounder lock here. This is a pocket that had one yesterday, as you guys can tell, it's all torn up. This trap reset here really having a lot of success with that pace bait and the dog proofs around the water guys i've been switching almost everything i got around the water to that um and it's working really good so we will remake this pocket here and 
uh, swap all the baits in those DPs and be getting down the road. At this spot where the beavers got it all dammed up, and we got two more mud balls. Got one there. He ain't near as bad as this next one. That one is no bueno. <laughs> That's a mud ball. So we'll get these two taken care of and wash them off in this little spot I broke open and get down the road. Well, I see at least one down here. Yep, just one. Other DP's empty. That's a nice big coon, though. Still got cat food in it. Oh, he wants a piece of me, too. Nice coon. Uh, timber going through concrete culvert here. Going over to cut corn, so glad to have another one. I heard a chain rattling. Another DP's knocked over. Oh, yeah. Tube coon. Nice big one, too. A lot bigger than I thought. Uh, really dark, too. So, nice one. Uh, timber to timber. Just running through this old tube here. So, glad to have him. We'll be getting down the road. Got us a muskrat down here. Uh, didn't bring my daggum gauntlets with me because I couldn't see anything down here. And it was hidden from this wall. So, uh, see what he's got going on here. Uh, just in a pocket set, fish in there. I think they're just attracted to the, the holes are they are, what they're attracted to, but not a very big rat. But another rat nonetheless, got a nice mixed bag going today. Beaver, coon, possum, muskrat, mink. Can't complain. Makes it interesting. We got a possum up in the high bank trail, not this one, so take our rat and go get that possum taken care of and get out of here. Got us a climber here. He was climbing on that tree. Uh, there's corn on the other side of the road from me. Coming underneath this evergreen tree, just this faint little trail. Uh, there's a timber about 100 yards back there, so we picked ourselves up a nice coon. Uh, we'll get him taken care of and get down the road, guys. Well, the first timber to timber culvert that had two doubles two days in a row went blank, but see, we got one friend here, two friends. So this one's went 212 now. So these are both pretty nice coon. Uh, just timber to timber culvert, like I said. Uh, they're running this little little drainage coming through this tube and good spot. Five coon in three days. Could not complain about that at all. So we'll get these two taken care of and get moving on. All right, let's see if you guys remember this one. Um, I set some spots that I was trapping on my water line. I set them again just to see what would happen. And there's definitely still a lot of coon here. I had a fish stick right here. Caught a mink, a bunch of coon here. See the coons are walking through there still. I probably took 11 or 12 coon out of here earlier and we've caught three uh, since then. We got another one here today. So definitely worth coming back through. The fish are still in there. I just want to give it a little shot of fish oil there. See if we can find that lock here. Got him by the front foot. Not a very big coon, but it's another one. This trap reset. There. Bed that baby back right in front of that pocket and we'll get down the road. All right, y'all. Uh, we just got back home here today. Uh, from this row back is what we brought home today. I came home with 40 coon, one really nice big beaver, muskrat, mink number 10 for the year. Uh, absolute mud ball laying there. And then we got seven possums today too. Um, I saw a lot of comments wondering about this beaver right here how much it weighed i finally weighed this sucker and it was 60.2 pounds so i was pretty close to guessing that it was <clears throat> a 60 pounder um and then this was the other one that we caught yesterday i guessed it was a 50 and it was a 48.6 something like that so nice beavers nice beavers today's pretty big too so happy with the size of the beavers but 40 coon a day puts me up to 1440 uh, and this has officially been a month uh, today from the first check so been a month of trapping uh, it's hard to believe it's been a month already but 
here we are so another good day uh we got two more days on this line yet so maybe we'll maybe we'll flirt with 15 by the end of the week who knows so anyways y'all thanks for watching and until tomorrow